and hello and welcome back to the channel. I am Braggy, the son of Magnar and yes, as you can tell, I am a Viking and I'm also a poet and a teller of folk tales. Welcome to the channel. How are you today? Let me know in a comment. Now today it is time for another folk tale and this is an English folk tale and we all love a good folk tale on this channel and we have told many an uh, English folk tale and this folk tale has the theme, the jocular theme which means it's a funny tale and it revolves around a husband and a wife but before I tell you the tale let's talk about husband and wife in the time of the Anglo-Saxons now the word wife comes from the old Middle English word of riff and it's also from the old English word of riff for woman or female or lady or wife and in Proto-Germanic it is derived from ribber for woman and wife and let's talk about the word husband now husband comes from the middle English of husbandi and you may be asking well what does it mean well basically it means householder or master of the house the husband and it's probably derived from Old Norse of Husbundi, master of house. From his house, the Bondi, the dweller, the householder. Now, our folk tale today is an English folk tale. And we have heard many folk tales on the channel from England. England. And this tale is called the hen pet husband and is from the county I was born in the county of Derbyshire the shire of Derby one of the five boys now there was once a farmer as they often are in these folk tales for you had to grow your food for winter and most people most men were farmers most households had a bit of land to grow some food on and of course our farmer was a husband and he was married he had a wife a wife but his wife ruled and he was ruled by his wife that one day she tormented him so much that he decided and had made his mind up to leave her and indeed to even go to another country to escape his wife so the next day he got together some possessions in a leather shoulder bag some bread and cheese he had a little bit of silver and he took that too and he soon set off in the early morning before his wife his whiff woke up and he had been walking a few hours but not long on his way he came to a small farmstead he was very thirsty and wanted a drink of water so he thought he'll go up to his farmstead knock on the door see if anybody's in but there was nobody in the farmstead was empty but not long something strange happened a cockerel crowed and the farmer a uh, man of this story he thought he heard the birds say women are masters here well he, he, after hearing that he went on his way he thought he's been hearing things you would wouldn't you and he's been walking for a few further leagues miles and days and he came to another old farmstead 
But this was a fine longhouse with some fine outbuildings. Andy was looking around for the owner to ask as he was still very thirsty. He had been walking all morning. I think he would be thirsty too if he had been walking without no water. And he looked around, but again he could find nobody. But all of a sudden, a cockerel flew by and landed by his feet. And he looked at the cockerel, the bird, and he thought that he heard the cockerel say, Aye, master's here too. Well, he carried on again walking. He was walking to the coast thinking that he could find a longship and beg passage to another country. And he'd been walking all afternoon. His feet were weary and his leather boots were not the best boots in the world and were a little bit uncomfortable. And he was again getting thirsty and thirstier. And after some more leagues of walking on his tired and weary feet, he came to a small crossroads. And there there was a great big hall, a mead hall. And opposite the hall was a small pond. And as you always get on ponds, there were some ducks. And he saw the mead hall and he thought, ah, I have a chance here to get a drink. So I continue my journey. But something strange again happened. He was on the road, just about to enter the longhouse, the great mead hall, when another cockerel flew by and again landed by his feet. And he looked at the cockerel, and then the cockerel said, Aye, and everywhere. Well, at that point of seeing and meeting three cockerels, with the first saying that women are masters here, and the second cockerel at the fine and far better quality longhouse, saying, Aye, masters here too. And with the third cockerel, where the cockerel said, Aye, and everywhere, our man, our husband knew that he could never get away from women. So he decided to walk back. And he said, I will go back and I will go and live with my wife. For now, I know for certain that women are the masters and the rulers of men. The end of the tale. If you like this folk tale, and if you like the channel and the content we make, then I urge you to subscribe and click on the notification bell. By doing this, you'll always be notified when we publish and premiere our videos and also when we live stream. And if you could be so kind to leave me a comment, for I love your comments. And until the next time we meet again, it is goodbye. Good health to all those that watch. Was hell.